What is up, people of the YouTube land? I am Awesome2464, you are my viewers, and this is Mystery Case Files Return to Ravenhurst Part 3. Alright, as you can tell here, we have a secret passageway in the fireplace that we opened in the last video. So now we're going to make our way down there, and yeah, see what we can find. Because hopefully there's something down here. Alright, let's go down. Alright. Wait, it can't be the... Wow, that's quite the starter, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Rose Somerset. I'm sure a lot of you know that name by now. <clears throat> my heart is racing. I can barely keep my fingers clutching my pen, let alone update my case report with the account of the specter I just encountered. After climbing down a secret staircase to, into a hidden room, I was approached by a woman dressed in rags who introduced herself as Rose Somerset. Could this be the missing nursemaid from Emma's diary? She pleaded with me to unlock the doors and locate her and her children. I'm afraid of what might happen, what I might find if I do. Alright, so there we go. So these must be the other souls Emma was referring to that are still trapped in the house. Yuck, I don't want to pick that thing up. Uh, oh, okay, we have some light over here. Oh my. How did the detective miss all this last time? I don't get it. Pipes carry strange fluid above the doorways. Oof. Okay then, let's see what we got here. Looks like two kids right next to each other, uh, a hooded man and a young woman up here. Right, let's check this out first. Ooh, let's... Two creepy little girls are carved into the rotting door. Creepy that is. Uh, let's see. The marbles in the middle of the lock appear to be missing. Okay, so it looks like we gotta find four marbles somewhere. So what do we have here? A typewriter. All keys proceed in his name. I would try Charles of all things, but it looks like we don't have all the keys yet for that. Yeah, it looks like we gotta find some typewriter keys to typewriter key. Okay, so that's one. Alright, so we still got one, two, three, four, five, six more to find somewhere. Alright, I guess that's good enough. Let's, let's check out this one. Oh, okay, not much here. <laughs> right, so what do we got here? Okay, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, hold on, these numbers are flashing here. 71, so 71 plus 4, that would be 75. All right, let's try this. Alright, I assume that's what that's for. Uh, let's see, alright, let's go to green. 71 minus 64, uh, would that be... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. That would be s what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. All right, so that would be seven. All right, so green is seven. All right, so let's keep going here. Oh no, not what I meant to do. Okay, good. Did reset. Fifty plus forty-two. That would be ninety-two. That just leaves blue here. 68 minus 50, that would be 18. Alright, simple enough puzzle. Alright, let's check it out then. Oh my. What do we have here? Welcome to Roseville, population 1. This place is some kind of strange subterranean town. Hmm. What do we have here? Standard procedure. Number one, absolutely no outside communication. Lock tampering shall be severely punished. Exit permitted only for nourishment and work detail. Exercise beauty shop facilities regularly to maintain hygiene. No diaries, journals, notebooks, or logs. Disobedience invokes a 30 whack minimum. 
Your brief journey serves only my continuance. Keep your big yap shut. Know I, that I prefer to Emma, and our hearts shall forever be as one. That's quite a list of rules there, isn't it? From a creepy antechamber I have passed into from from a creepy antechamber I have passed into what can only be described as a small underground living space, or more accurately, containment space, as noted by the placard in front of me. This place appears to be some sort of jail. Among the disturbing rules displayed on the on the sign is entry number five. It appears as if Charles what it appears as if Charles meant for no one of those who dwelt here to be preserved. I'll move ahead and try to learn more about the purpose of the secret substructure, if I don't lose my nerve. Yeah, quite a creepy looking place we got here. Alright, let's just solve this puzzle. A baby. Ooh. Oh, no, I guess that's not a baby. Uh, okay, let's see here. Fishing reel. Wow, I cannot find anything here, can I? <laughs> it looks like I'm losing my focus. Okay, golf clubs. Okay, that's something. A heart. Alright, there's that. Pineapple. Uh, I thought I just saw that. There it is. A clock. A long stick. At least I, yeah, I guess that's a long stick. Sunglasses. What is that? Oh, a fishing. Oh, I was looking for a fishing rod. Stupid me. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, again, I, I know these puzzles, these high spy hidden puzzle games are what made Mystery Case Files what it is. But at the same time, I'm not really that good at or quick at them, I should say. <laughs> yeah, in case you haven't noticed, a lot of these, uh, puzzle game the uh, the hidden puzzle games are like cut out a lot because if I did if I didn't cut them out the videos would be too long <sighs> yeah the hints load back too slow which I guess is kind of a good thing because in the newer mystery case files games the hints can come back super fast which it can be used to your advantage but at the same time it is easier to like cheat or not do well that way Really? Alright, after all the effort, we get a stick. Really? <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Alright, let's check out this general store, it looks like. Oh, another. Really? Okay, I'll go back to you in a minute. Let's see. The storage facility is rep replete with various provisions. Oh. Several creepy restraining devices are hung from the rafters. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, looks like some sort of power circuit. Uh, an old article detailing a supernatural sighting. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna read that, but it looks like unusual sightings at Blackpool. Uh, Lucky 15. The number 15 has something to do with this? Oh, clearly, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess here. Say it has something. Okay, so yeah, all the number, all they have to equal to 15. This could take a while though. I'll see what I can do. There we go. That was actually kind of random guessing. Oh, we got a marble. Okay, I think we need those. 5392. Actually, in this box right here. Oh, okay, so that does that. Alright, so let's do five, three, up, oh, dang it. <laughs> Alright, and two. That should work. There we go. Uh, okay, it looks like a, all right, it's a fuse box, looks like. This news clipping, circa 1927, details a brush with a supernatural outside what I imagine to be Ravenhurst Manor. It seems something someone enjoyed the collecting and display of such frightening accounts and also shows how long the house has been experiencing ghostly activity. One of the fuses in the fuse box appears to be missing. 
Alright, it's labeled school. Alright. Alright, all right, let's solve this stupid puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't be able to find anything in the dark. <laughs> I see a bird cage. I've played this game so many times, I can like ultimately know where everything is. But I haven't played in a while, so sometimes it takes a little refresher. Alright, another marble. A mouse. First prize. I guess it's like a blue ribbon or a trophy. Yeah, a blue ribbon right over here. A pacifier. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this one is relatively easy. Okay, yeah, I figured we'd keep the marble. And what do we have here? And, uh, hello, dead guy. Joe, your name says. Poor Joe is not going to be much help, I'm afraid. Yeah, I think he's kind of busy being dead to help us out here. <laughs> Ed's elevator. The control panel looks like it's missing a lever. Hmm. Alright then. Squid jelly. Yum. A locked panel is adorned with an ornate skull. Alright, I guess maybe the skull will help us figure out what key it belongs to, I'm gonna guess. Alright, so it looks like we can't go down this elevator until we find a lever for this. Alright. So let's keep going this way. It doesn't appear to be working. Yeah, it could be 9 o'clock. You never know. Ooh, missing since August 6, 1895. Rose Elizabeth Somerset, Gwen and Charlotte Somerset. Hmm. The cave appears to end just beyond a makeshift boulder carved into the stone deep beneath the manor. A water-damaged placard behind the old clock notes the disappearance of Rose Somerset and her two daughters. Someone has scratched out the face and added, They won't find you. Charles must have taken it from the streets of Blackpool and placed it here to taunt the inhabitants of this dark, wet place. Wow, it's actually kind of sad. Rose's Beauty Parlor. I suppose it's better than curl up and die. Yeah, that, that, as creative as that name is, I don't think I'd actually want to go there. These stones here, stones here seem odd, as if they were placed here intentionally. Maybe we could break them apart with something. Oh, there we go, a pickaxe. Ah, and what do we have here? Madeleine Ravenhurst, June 4th, 1895. Dearest Emma, I have written you numerous letters with no response. I am extremely worried about your safety, and do wish you would write or wire us immediately to let us know how you are faring in England. The following news is difficult for me to type, but our new dearest father has passed. His long-fought battle with the pox has ended with great loss for us all. Please, please return home. I am simply unable to manage the farm without your assistance. Your loving sister, Maddie. Looks like the missing correspondence Emma, Emma referenced in her diary. No. Something seemed odd to me about the arrangement of rocks near the end of the cave. My keen eye for detail revealed that someone had, in fact, hidden something behind, behind the stones and I intended to investigate further. Luckily, I was in possession of an old pickaxe and a few swings was all it took to displace the stones and reveal a bundle of old letters. The notes were all addressed to Emma and requested that she contact her family regarding her whereabouts. Charles clearly did not want these to be found. Yeah, yeah, if you wanted to be found, I, I don't think you would have hidden them behind a giant wall box of uh, rocks. Alright, let's get in here. Alright. Okay, so it looks like we've got to match these up. Uh, it shouldn't be that overly difficult. Alright. Right. Uh, yeah, this puzzle is actually is one of the easier ones in the game. It's very time-consuming, though. <laughs> Alright, so that's one. Now we just gotta swap these two out, which again shouldn't be that overly difficult. Alright, and just gotta do this. Alright, and we are in. Ooh. Definitely deserted. 
Rose must have been healthy for hours, if not days. How ghoulish. Hmm. Charles must have wanted Rose to keep up her girlish figure. Oh, that's sweet. After all, you know, after kidnapping her and locking her in this prison, he still wants her to look beautiful. How sweet. This oddball contraption looks like some looks like a weird hairdryer. <laughs> Local man cleared of charges. Da, 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 da. Mr. Delamar was accused in the kidnapping of Rose Somerset and her twin daughters, Gwen and Charlotte Somerset, earlier this year. Mrs. Somerset was briefly employed by the accused as a live-in nursemaid for Delamar's family friend, the American Emma Ravenhurst. Miss Ravenhurst could not be reached for comment. Ain't that suspicious. Uh, that man is a liar and cannot be trusted, exclaimed Reginald Somerset, husband and father to the missing parties. A strong alibi and lack of physical evidence clear the accusation of the allegations. The victims remain at large. Wow. So they even thought it was him. I found an old newspaper clipping that details Charles Dalmar's involvement in the Rose Somerset kidnapping case. He appears to have been proven innocent in the matter, but I clearly believe otherwise. <laughs> Alright, and... Uh, excuse me, miss, I think you broke your neck. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, another one of these. Oh, another marble. You know that's good. No, no we're just gonna keep that right away. Hmm... Oh, there's a violin. There's a handbag. A brain. Ugh, that's a little gross. Uh, hint. Okay. Oh. Uh, and yeah, keep the marble. Alright, let's head this way. Uh, the, a thin groove appears etched to the plaster on the wall. A cry for help scratched the stairs sends a, sends a chill down my spine. <laughs> uh, these guys are a little creepy. Oh. oh. What do we have here? Uh -huh. Aha. What, what do we have here? A large strip of canvas has been torn from the painting. I noticed something unusual about the wall leading upstairs from the base of the staircase at the back of the salon. I could feel a slight breeze coming from a thin groove cut in the shape of a rectangle. Aha! After further exploration, I found that shifting each ornament on the staircase triggered a hidden panel at the top of the stairs. The panel revealed a painting of two small children, but the top piece of canvas has been torn away. I've made note of an unusual marking on the inside of the frame. If, it, if I've learned anything from pirate movies, it's that X marks a spot. Perhaps this is a clue to the location of a buried treasure? Now where have I seen an angel and an X? Hmm... Where have we seen an angel near an X? Hmm. Oh, the garden had that angel statue that somehow left a strange uh, X in a shadow. Yeah, an angel and an X. So, hmm. But how are we going to dig it up? Hmm. Let's look around for maybe a sum to dig it up with. Oh, pff, a shovel right here. How convenient. <laughs> Alright, oh, yeah, no, we're not trying to use a stick. Yes, I know you have to break windows to solve a mystery. Alright, let's dig this up. Oh, too deep. Wow, that wasn't very deep, actually. Alright, so that clearly is the top of a painting. Uh, Alright, and perfect match. This must be a painting of Rose's twin daughters. I wonder why the detective would think that. <laughs> After a little digging for clues in the garden, I unearthed the missing piece of canvas to the painting on the, on the staircase. The image depicts two pale twin girls holding hands in front of a doorway. I have the spine-tingling feeling I'm staring to the eyeless visage of Rose's twin daughters, Gwendolyn and Charlotte's. So let's head up here. Alright. It's clearly some sort of bedroom. Huh. I'm nervous about the ceiling caving in on me. Yeah, I would too. Someone has sealed the drawer shut with nails. That's a little paranoid. Atop the staircase at the back of the salon is a dingy a dingy bedchamber. I assume these were Rose's sleeping quarters when she was held captive in this underground nightmare. 
Fake windows cast eerie yellow light into a dresser that has been nailed shut. I lack the strength to remove the nails by hand. I'm nervous about what I might find if I peer beneath the bed. Oh no, what is going to be beneath the bed? <gasps> nope, just a bunch of junk. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. A pretzel. Medicine. A film reel. Iron. Play so much Minecraft, I was actually about to look for an iron ingot at first. <laughs> a rose. Oh, looking for a rose in Rose's bedroom. Aw. <laughs> and a salt shaker. Alright, that was fairly easy and simple. Yep, kid to give a typewriter key. Alright. Just a bunch of moldy blankets and dirty undergarments. Oh, that's disgusting. And another lock. And why is, why is that mouth moving? That's creepy. Alright, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, so we got to get this ball in the hole. Nope. Hmm. It's all difficult. Oh, nope. There we go. Simple enough. Oh, I don't like the sound of that music. Uh, oh, hello. What do we have in here? Excuse me, whoever's in here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, that's a little... You're, you're a little creepy. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. I was just scared witless after opening the shower curtain in a run-down bathroom. A bricked-over window must have given false hope to anyone held in this terrible place. Why would Charles kidnap and keep Rose in this underground complex? I attempted to peek inside the medicine cabinet, but it, like most other doors in this place, remained locked. Alright. Right, let's just check this out. Uh, I saw that I've solved so many puzzles in this one episode alone. Yes, yeah, yeah, this episode's probably gonna go a little longer than usual. Scissors, a plum, and a metal lever. That's one yet. Keep a lever. A lever? Could that be for what I think it is? Such a lovely view! I know, such a beautiful sight! I can see everything from here. No thanks, I just went. <laughs> and clearly someone else did too, based on all that water. Who pays the water bill for this place? I don't know. Maybe Charles. The medicine cabinet appears to be locked. Uh, well, anyway, this lever is for what I think it is. Let's just head this way. And head back here. Excuse me, Joe. Alright, just like that. Let's go down. Alright. So I think this is where we'll stop here for this episode. Uh, we'll see next episode. We'll see where this elevator leaves and possibly go check it out. Okay, it looks like we're at some sort of cave down here. All right, so we'll check that out in the next episode. So if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment what you thought about it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to stay tuned for my uh, for the next video when it's up, as well as some of my other videos. And remember to stay awesome. See ya.